guys, it's me, Sean Strong, your 2019 Mayash Design Star, and we're here in Upstairs Atlanta, where we're going to be creating a really cool installation that's gonna hang from the ceiling. Uh, we have some really cool forged material right here, which is these vines that we found. Uh, I have some awesome product over here, courtesy of Mayesh. Um, we have things like Spirea, and we have these really cool tulips, butterfly ranunculus. We're gonna be putting this whole entire installation up in this corner over here, and I cannot wait to show you guys the final product. My original plan was to have this cool installation hanging in the center of the room. Well, there wasn't any support for us to do that. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use these hooks that are already integrated into the building, and we're gonna wrap rope around those, and then we're gonna be able to tie up our installation. That way it's suspended up in the corner. I'm gonna be using this heavy duty twine right here, and I think it's gonna really kind of blend in with the environment. Since we're working in an industrial space, you don't want anything too clean. You kind of wanna make sure it's matching the environment that you're working in. So I think this is gonna be a great fit for what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be using our forage material as a means of a vase. This is gonna create almost like this nest or this grid system that's gonna allow all of the greenery and flowers to kind of be held while we suspend this in the air. So because this is a unique kind of installation, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start with my greens. I wanna make sure that I'm kind of creating a really cool shape with everything that Mayesh has provided for me. So we're gonna have this kind of cool, whimsical, like bird's nest kind of feel in one section, and it's gonna kind of green out on the other side, almost like this greenery ombre, if you could say that. This is autumn eucalyptus that I'm adding here. I like working with autumn eucalyptus because it just has a really cool kind of color to it and the leaf shape is really unique as well. Again, just like when I'm working with my centerpieces, keeping things kind of in groups, giving them their moment, allowing them to be seen together creates an impactful moment on the eye and it also allows us to kind of see what exactly we're using. When things are spattered all over the place, it's not as natural as if they were to be growing together. And that's the whole goal, is we're trying to make sure things look as natural and as organic as possible. One thing that I cannot do a wedding without zip ties. Now these guys right here, they hold a lot of weight. They also create a lot of support. Japanese Spirea is one of my favorite springtime blooms. It is absolutely beautiful, and these really, really long stems work well for installations. It allows you to kind of give the installation some height and some like linear shape. So it's really a wonderful flower to incorporate into, uh, into your installations. So whenever you're working on an installation, just like when you're working on a centerpiece or a bouquet, we talked about this in a couple of videos, you wanna make sure that pieces like this, this like little nub right there, it's not seen. Again, it's a little bit kind of like staring at you and we don't like that when it comes to flowers. We wanna make sure things are very soft and romantic and very, you know, very intentional. And something like this, it's not so intentional. So a great way to do that if you're not able to like cover it up, um, you can cut it off and then put some more greenery on top of it or you can just put some greenery on top of it and call it a day. Whatever works for you. Now this is an opportunity to add color. Why not take advantage of this beautiful white wall and have something contrast against it? So we're gonna be adding in quite a bit of color, some orange, some red, some yellows to kind of create this, uh, this installation and make it pop against, against this wall. So whenever you're working on an installation like this, just like with our centerpieces, we like to have a high point and kind of a low, a low point. So when we're working with color, we wanna make sure that there is a high point of color and it transitions down to this beautiful line for your eye to follow. Yeah, I think whenever you're working in an installation, like I know that the shape that I wanna create, it's very conceptual already. So I think making sure that you can translate what you're thinking um, and just learning some basic principles. Whenever you have those high points, those low points, those middle points, I know that I want these high points to kind of come out towards my, my client. I know that I want that inside to kind of be tucked away. That way it's creating some engagement. That low point, again, kind of coming back out, it's creating this beautiful line and it's creating depth in that line as well. So I think you just gotta be really intentional when you're thinking about this stuff, but also just kind of think about it. It's not very difficult. I think a lot of times people think, how in the world do they do this stuff? It's really just shoving pieces of greenery into you know, a foundation and then just kind of building onto that. So have all the confidence in the world for you guys to do this. When you're using small, delicate flowers like this, uh, this is butterfly ranunculus, and it's a wonderful, wonderful flower. It literally just floats abo like, above any arrangement or bouquet. But when you're using something like this, because it is so small and an installation this big, you wanna make sure that you're using quite a bit of it, or else they're just gonna get lost and there's no purpose of having it. So having these guys kind of like flutter across the arrangement or the centerpiece or the installation kind of in a group is gonna look really, really good. So these tulips have a really cool color to them. They have this like red that kind of ombres down to this orange, kind of this yellow kind of color. So I think by adding in these like more saturated tones, it's gonna really help pop the orange out of this butterfly ranunculus. 
Now, when you're working with tulips, you wanna make sure that you're using a water pick with them. For the purpose of this installation, since it's gonna be a temporary thing, I'm not too concerned with it, but you wanna make sure that whenever you're working with tulips, because they continue to grow even after you cut them, that you cut them down pretty short because they're gonna kinda of grow out of your arrangement even more. One last final touch before I hoist this guy in the air, I'm gonna put in some Icelandic poppies. I think they're gonna really play well with the colors that we have already in this installation. All right, so our installation is complete. We have some beautiful product, again, courtesy of Mayesh. Uh, we're using this industrial rope to kind of hoist this guy up there. I think it's gonna really create a cool impact up in the corner of this room. So how you're gonna hoist this, is you're just gonna make sure that you have your team there with you because oftentimes when you're doing something like this, by lifting it up, things are going to shift, and that's totally all right. So whenever you guys are doing this, you wanna make sure that you have enough time in your timeline to make sure that you can adjust this once you put this guy in the sky. You wanna make sure when you hoist them up that you guys have plenty of time to make adjustments, and you also wanna make sure that you're tucking things underneath this. That way it looks complete. All right, there you guys have it. That's our installation. Thank you, Mayesh, for this incredible product. So grateful to be partnering up with you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to direct message me on Instagram. I would love to be able to hear all y'all's feedback and be able to look at the photos that you guys do of your own installations. So thank you guys for watching along, and I'll see y'all next month. Y'all have a great one.